Hello, Cloudies, bonjour, hi, welcome to the stream. I'm Frank Boucher, and for the next one hour and a half, because we spent 30 minutes fixing multiple little glitches, glitches, uh, today we'll be working not on this project, no, that's the, that's CB, that's the our chatbot, where you can play a game, and you could say bonjour hi in the chat there's multiple commands so have fun so um yeah today we'll be working on fixing a ci cd pipeline from an azure function deploying an isolated azure function into azure last time two weeks ago and i will explain why i didn't stream in a few um last stream uh we worked on this the we fixed or we thought we fixed the deployment and I was really, really happy because I want that thing to be up and running as soon as possible. And when I say this thing, I'm talking about the Azure URL shortener or AZ URL shortener, open source project. I should totally put the URL in the chat. Voila. Can drop again. Yeah, now you should, you should work the, the drop thing. Um, yeah, so last time it, we, it worked, but then when I try to uh, validate and make more tests and kind of continue uh, during the weekend, I think, I forgot when, I think it was, yeah, an, an evening during the weekend or something like that, um, I realized the deployment didn't generate any error, but the status of the function at the other end was kind of strange. Um, and the reason why is today, early September, 2022 and I'm, I'm i'm being explicit here in case you're watching the recording version um the deployment doesn't work like it's not supported yet uh in azure the isolated function are a new thing uh that's why i used it to test it uh, but also i think it's really the future will it will let us uh have the version we want in azure we won't need to have it support first by the Azure function environment, we'll, we'll be able to maintain the version we want and kind of go that, that way. So it will be better for us in terms of like maintaining it. Um, so the goal is to fix that today. So we'll uh, today expect a lot of digging, comparing like a status that work, that doesn't work. It's only possible to deploy an Azure isolated function but using more like Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code or like a CLI command, but using ARM template. Like there's a few thing that works and a few things that doesn't work. What I want to work, what I want to use right now, it's not supported. So we'll be deploying the code and everything as a regular function and then switching it uh, to isolated in Azure. So that works. I know I did it manually. Now I need to do it in a CI CD. So it'll be fun. Knock, knock, knock. I didn't hear it. Did it work, the knock thing? Look at that fancy read me on the... <laughs> this one, you mean? <laughs> or which one did you... Uh... Yeah, like did you, did you participate here? Fragbird, I, you need to make anything. Maybe I should add you as a morale support. My profile page. Oh, uh, the Frank Boucher. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Did you see I, I had new uh, batch badge? The other day I got like this. Make me laugh. Quick draw. <laughs> Giddy up. Like I, uh, yeah, like I open the thing and I close it like in a five minutes. So I got that thing, make me laugh a lot. YOLO, uh, you want it, you merge it. <laughs> we like it. Collaboration, that's cool. So like uh, I was working with different people uh, on a PR. Uh, that I'm super, like I'm very, very, um, 
honored. I have two repo that have a lot of stars. I don't know what's a lot. I don't know, a many stars. I don't know how many is many, but I'm very honored to, to have this time twice. Really cool. Uh, that's one, pull shark. Oh yeah, like you open pull request. So that's always a nice drill uh, when you have a pull request that is merge. Uh, and unfortunately, there's a lot of activity that doesn't show because it's in private repos uh, for Microsoft or for myself. So like there's a lot of activity that doesn't work. Even like I was looking the other day, uh, try to like get back. Uh, here we see we ha I had kind of a burnout. <laughs> and now I'm back. But there's a lot of things I do in a lot of data doesn't show yet because it's not in main though like i'm not trying to score or impress anyone but i was like well you know i think maybe when it get it will get merged maybe that activity will pop up but i was like hey, i feel like i work more than that that was yeah that was my reflection it was felt like i work more than what it shows here Oh, the Arctic one? Yeah, the Arctic one, I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, but like, um, yeah, awesome developer, the core wiki for C Sharp Fritz and uh, discover.net. I don't even remember what I did for that thing. But yeah, but I wanna get more into code and, and stuff like that. I've been doing so many backstage stuff backstage stuff that's hard to say um i want to get back into coding and you know that's why i force myself to stream every friday because it's a block of two hours where like i have no other choice to to do that and chit chat with you because i miss i miss the people i miss like it's cool to like uh, working from home and everything but uh i miss like going in event talking to a lot of developer I, I miss the meetup I want to get back and be involved again in my uh, local community I miss that I really miss that I have new project that I I'm starting like I'm doing a pilot with an MVP uh, for like a little show uh, like I want to I want to get in touch back again to uh, to that like I really miss that thing like feel that have an impact in my community really looking forward to that um, so yeah Uh, Fuel Shabel, sorry. Um, so, Arctic, uh, this one, this badge, is um, when your code that you work. So, there's a key vault, not a key vault, but there's a code vault that is located apparently in Arctic just to kind of like super save, so backup of GitHub and they obviously don't back up everything. So the they cherry pick the some repository and they back up back up it back up them there. Uh, and apparently, if you have it, it means that you have like if you go click here the archive program, um, it explain everything. So let me share that in the chat. But good question. I'm very happy, and uh, I think it's the first time I see you. Uh, we'll try to pronounce your name correctly, so I need to read it correct. So it's Fuel Shabel Schnabel. I'm always really bad with names. I'm sorry. I don't want to be bad, but I'm struggling all the time. It's a joke name anyway, <laughs> so people tend to me. Okay, fuel, cool. I'll call you fuel. Just like the H Y F, I call him Stefan. <laughs> so should be good to remember to call you fuel. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, it's been it's been a while anyway that I stream. I I stopped streaming for a long, long time. I kind of burned out a little bit, uh, so I stop a lot of activity, focus on like physical activity and building up. Now I feel better, so that's what I'm doing. And today, I'm planning to do a lot of recording. In fact, so I'm streaming he here. After that, I will kind of like 
do a burst of emails, stuff like that. And after that, I will have like uh, at least one recording session, maybe two. Uh, very excited, two new projects coming up. Uh, cool. So, um, yeah, so why I didn't stream last week? I'm very sorry about that, though. Like, you probably didn't miss any hour of sleep because of that. My dog was extremely sick, and I, I yeah, I, I needed to kind of clean up a lot of stuff and take care of it and like I, it end up uh, going to the hospital I got the hospitalized a few days and now it's back she's back she's feeling better and uh very happy about it yeah it was a, a unpleasant and expensive also i shouldn't say that right but uh yeah that's the thing it was uh it was special okay so Enough of chit chatting. So, Phil, Phil, how was your week? How was your week then? Um, I found out that Oslo Opera House is quite hard. My wrists and knees are now hurting. What's Oslo Opera House? Can I Google that? Did you dance? Okay, you went visiting? It looked really cool though. And then what? Like you trip meaning that you fall down? And that's why your knees now are Did you skate and fall or something? When you say trip you mean like you trip you were walking and you trip or you trip meaning you you had a trip going over there? That's a French barrier now, right? Or a language barrier, not necessarily French, but... Yes, you can walk on a building. Ouch. Oh no. Everybody's injured today. Oh no, really bad, sorry. And like, are you in a, just like bruise or any cast right now or like whatever? <laughs> like bruise is not big. I'm sorry, that's not what I mean. <laughs> I'm always injured. Yeah, Fragbird, but you know, you're an old grandpa, as old as me. I'm telling you, like, uh, I should DM you a little bit more about the uh, yoga for men. It's really good, honestly. But not now. F like, fix your back first, and when you get better, uh, that's good. I like it. Like, the guy, it's a guy is like, doing yoga for guys. So, like, it's not pure yoga. And, like, it's okay, okay. Like, if you cannot, obviously, yoga uh, often is really... Uh, well, like here in America, it's more in majority done by women and the, the flexibility is not the same on a woman and a man. So like he's really adjusting stuff and it's really interesting. It's okay. So if you can do this, use that, like do this instead. I really like it. Uh, okay. So why this cover, like I'm just trying right now to... Uh, Let's go in the... Okay, well, I'm glad to to hear that, you know, nothing major, let's put it that way. I think it was in this one. Yeah, I think it was the C5M to delete. It's a little bit big, yeah? 
it's already uh, zoomed out. Uh, okay, so I think this Azure function works. So if we do this, and then I had uh, API, and then URL redirect, and then I put, let's say, project. I think that works. Nope, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, if I go in function, I have no function. Okay, so that's the one that doesn't work. You know what, I think I will delete it and we'll start from fresh and I will explain. So there's a way to deploy that, that they will work. And there's a way to deploy that, that it won't work. And after that, what I want to do is um, export the ARM template of both those two and compare to see what's what's the difference and try to bring that in our ARM template that we have in this project uh, here to make sure we have it because obviously when I create the ARM template like then when we created the ARM template um, like I should go full and said let's go boom so when we create the ARM template uh, you know we're, we're it was a little while ago so style was different and, and stuff like that so I know I I change a few um, API version so I want to make sure I don't miss anything So let's do that. So I will go back into the portal. Uh, we'll delete everything and we'll deploy one that works and one that doesn't work. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so resource group. So this one, let's delete it. So I was there, delete the resource group. Cool, so now let's go back in resource group. So, and let's have a look to make sure. Can I, it's really, really big. Okay, that's a little bit bigger, better. Um, okay, so I think now we have it correctly. So let's deploy a way that works and it's from the portal if i point out oh let's clean up first also the uh, url shortener the not the yeah this repo so here do we have any workflows there's that should i delete it i think i will delete it Let's delete that file. So we don't have any more any workflow in the main. Uh, yeah, Dependabot was complaining about our version, but I don't want to change too much things for now. Obviously, we need to take care of that soon, though. OK, and I don't have any workflow here. Excellent. If I go in GitHub Action, like there's a lot of things. I would like to deactivate a few of those. Can I? Can I? How do I clean up like this history of thing? Is it in settings? Do you know how to clean that? I would like to, like all those workflow. I would like to remove that. just don't want it to disable it I want to let's go in settings is there a way to uh, action maybe general
See you later, Fragbird. Have a good uh, weekend, and I uh, hope your back is going better. Let me know if you're interested about the uh, men's yoga. I'm serious. <laughs> For me, it was a game changer. Okay, so... Um, okay, so... Let's tr the one that works is if from the Azure portal we deploy uh, Azure and we go say okay the code is over there, bring it but has a regular uh, in process I think they call it uh, the in process Azure function and then we swap it to um, isolated and it works. So let's try that. Okay, so I will try. So uh, let's do a time. You know what? Let's let's add a, a little bit of uh, to dos. Uh, so to do. Okay, if I can write correctly, add um, deploy from Azure portal. Okay, cool. And to do add deploy from github one click button yep not github git git up voila and then to do add compare and investigate let's put it that way i won't pretend i will fix it but let's say investigate investigate so that's our task for today so let's to do anything we should ask add uh to do start one cool and now to do time and it will be um, no not to do it's time Voila, cool. The time you could do this, you're you're you should have access to the time. The goal is not the goal, but the point is when you do the time in the chat, uh, in the archive version of it. So if we go to uh, behind my cloud, this is the archive of all the the streams. When you watch watch it on YouTube, and I will just cut this on here, those chapters here come from the time so if you do it and it just helps me to be more efficient when i publish those otherwise i need to watch the the stream and like create that so feel free to add times anyone anyone you want okay so now we want to deploy this right that's what we said that's what we will be doing so let's go so i'm in the azure portal if you're new the Azure portal is the Microsoft uh, offer for cloud computing and we want to deploy a serverless code. So it's called Azure function in uh, Azure. So to do that, I'm in light mode and I don't really like that. So let's change that. I think I was re doing some recording. That's why dark apply. So create resource, we click that little plus here. There's multiple way to do that. Uh, that's the way I like. And then that's what we wanna create. So I'll say create. And then we need to create a resource group. So we'll create a new resource group. Resource group is just a, a group, a logical group, thinking about like a shopping bag where you put a bunch of stuff in it. Uh, and then you can apply security on everything that is in it by applying it to the, the group. And it, follow down and the beauty of it is when you're done you could just like throw the bag and everything inside will be automatically kind of 
manage because sometimes you need before deleting for example a vm you need to de de delete the storage and then the vm like you know there's an order but if you delete the resource group azure will take care of that ball builder triple b yes i'm alive i thought i was there like years ago yeah <laughs> How are you, my friend? It's been a very, very, very long time indeed. I kind of burned out a little bit. That's why I was not streaming. <laughs> but now I'm, I'm better. Hey, Rajesh, master of the cows. <laughs> Thank you for the following. That's really appreciated. I'm I'm glad I'm back. So I'm trying to get back into coding, feeling. That's what I was explaining a few minutes ago, where I was like, just like, I miss the community. So I miss like, yeah, traveling was cool, though it was really ex exhausting, exhausting. Like it was requesting a lot of energy, but I was really feeling plugged to the community and having an impact and be useful and stuff like that. And missing that, being very involved and impactful at my job but i felt like ah, i missed that so now manage to have a little bit of time and i take time to code create stuff I like that and now we're just trying to fix some project long time project that are broken and people are telling me hey i would like to use your thing but it's broken so fix it so you know my team and i <laughs> are working on that Okay, so let's create a resource group. So let's make, so C5M, uh, and we'll call that C5M. Um, in fact, it should be behind my cloud, but whatever. C5M uh, from portal. From portal URL. Uh, let's put some, I know I could put spaces, but I like it this way. Cool. You st are you still streaming? And I just, uh, Triple B, are you still streaming and I always miss your stream? Or are you also pause your stream on your side? Because I'm, I, I thought, I, I think about you each time I put your t-shirt. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I thought I was very unlucky and always missing you. Uh, okay, so uh, URL portal test. Uh, the, okay, so now that's the trick. So like I was saying, the isolated function right now, you cannot deploy. See, it's not there. And my mistake last time what we did two weeks ago was we used the custom handler and I was like cool we'll just like type .NET isolated because that's the value that it should be but right now it's just not supported so the trick today is we'll be deploying it has a .NET environment and after the deployment we'll be switching back to isolated function and that works perfectly so that's what we will be doing and then we'll be exporting the ARM template to have like a Okay, when the Azure function works, how does it look? So we can change it. So see .NET, .NET 6, that's perfect. That's what we have. I miss it. I was, yeah, you miss streaming? Yeah, it's cool. I, I, I like so much streaming. And then I'm, I'm streaming now from my laptop. So it's a Linux machine. I'm really happy to be back at Linux. Um, so I had like a huge laptop that I was planning to carry while traveling because like my uh, Microsoft provided me uh, a Surface. I was awesome, really cool. I love that machine, Surface laptop, but streaming, video editing, I was way too intense on that. And in fact, I think I, I kill it. Uh, the battery expand and like a lot of stuff. So, um, and then like, they couldn't provide me any machine, so I bought myself like a super huge uh, Dell XPS 15, so like a huge machine, and I was planning to uh, 
uh, carry that plus my regular laptop to stream video edit and things uh, but then uh, COVID and um, so I sell that XPS 15 but like a tiny what's that machine is I forgot what it is uh, but I love it it's super tiny um, and I install Linux on it that's kind of now like my little laptop that when I want to work on the couch or like go in the coffee shop or something like that I love it and also give me the opportunity to kind of walk the talk like that net Microsoft says yeah yeah like everything is working from Linux so like there it is I'm on Linux um, so I'm using that as a machine and then my tower is my stream machine now so I'm connecting so and I have a bunch of tech issue uh, like I swapped my camera the other day and now this morning I had like a black border I don't know why <laughs> you know a bunch of stuff that's fun though okay so it's us so we will be using windows right now I'm not sure if it's supported on Linux for the Azure container so I want to keep my chance okay uh, I don't mind for Windows right now I think it I think it might be okay for Linux but right now let's keep it on Linux on Windows I mean uh, consumption serverless that's what we want we don't want the other option will be like premium premium will be good uh, if you want to speed up a little bit your time or like have like um, a domain name I forgot what it is like there's a little bit more stuff but for now serverless is good enough and service plan is like always on uh, but I don't use enough the URL shortener to justify those costs so consumption it means that will be mostly free like a few let's say maybe 25 cents 10 cents by month uh, so it should be good enough for my needs probably yours also if you want to use this tool so good so now we have it so we'll do create so now we'll initiate the deployment validate and now it's deploying all the resource and I say all the resource you will see after so because we need that uh, we are deploying an Azure function of course there's a little bit more that are required uh, for example the code need to be sitting somewhere so we'll be creating a storage uh, so that's where the code will be sitting storage is also a resource in Azure that is super budget friendly uh, they will have I think uh, by default there's also um, analytics that will be um, application insight well that's the name of uh, the, the, the thing so it's using to monitor so there's a few product but most of them are free or close to free so even if like we're deploying a few more resources um, it, it won't budge that much the price cool so now the the deployment is done so if we go to resource now we are in the resource group here now we are in the that's the Azure function I want to go to the resource groups so I could show you to so see we have the storage here the service plan the storage and the function should be there just like in a refresh thing and the uh, it, this is the application inside uh, service plan think about like if it was a VM the spec uh, Azure function kind of just like used resources that are not used uh, because we are in the like free tiers right now we deploy without like serverless thing so that define what we want it's like okay like just use lower sources like blah 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 if I was going at a different plan I could have like reserve resources and stuff like that but for our needs right now it's not required and if I refresh now the Azure function is there it was just a question of like getting it here so if I go to this URL here whoops nope, not that one close this I want to go here so see the Azure function is there but there's nothing it's empty like there's no function if I go back into the portal if I go here I don't have any function because I created an empty function and I could create here a function but that's not what we will be doing we'll be using a deployment center to suck <laughs> the code from the github repo so that's what we want to do and I know it'll be working and after that we'll be able to see the difference so deployment center
So now we are deploying, so we're crying. A C we are cr crying, we're crying. We're not crying, we are creating a CI CD, but using the portal as the way to define that. And I think that will help because obviously the portal is better than myself to do it. So there's many places where you can deploy from. Uh, so right now I have my code in GitHub, so we'll use GitHub. And I will go click my organization. And I have multiple repositories, so we'll wait until the end. AZ URL. URL. And URL shortener. And now we are working on the branch VNEX V3. Uh, so we'll pick that one. It says that the run stack is .NET, version is 6. And what it will do is it will create a workflow inside our repository and it will deploy our code. So that's perfect. So let's save it. And now it should try to deploy and that will work. So Mr. Triple B, how was your week? What did you do? Or any plan for the, the weekend? It was a long weekend for you too last weekend, right? Oh, that's why I thought the the week was shorter this week because it was Monday was was off. That's why I I didn't have the feeling it was Friday today. That was like Thursday. I think the weather will be good. The forecast I think is uh, announcing good this weekend, isn't it? Yeah, so probably some kayak, maybe some hiking, hiking, hiking without a mountain. Is it a hike or is it just a walk? I want to try to make some uh, photography, having fun with that. So now it should be deploying. So we see here it's deploying in progress. If I do, uh, what is it again? Alt shift eight. No. No. Damn, what is it? There it is. It's in progress. Oh, in fact, we could click on that and see a little bit here what's happening. So right now it's deploying. So that's perfect. We'll be waiting for that. If I have any background tasks during Ignite, that's a good question. Uh, that uh, I would say right now, no. <laughs> I cannot always share everything about it, but uh, right now I would say that I'm I've been dodging a little bit, though. Like I'm less involved. <laughs> It's not true. I've not been dodging. Uh, like I'm less involved for. I'm not sure. I should show everything. So let's go back at the summary. Uh, I put my name to be part of the after party. So being a host of an after party with maybe an MVP or something like that. Uh, last time I was supposed to be doing something with uh, Toronto, but then at the end kind of got canceled. So we'll see if I'm involved in, in that. Um, but no, like even I don't think I will do anything behind the scene or like in the whoop. Mm. Yeah, it will it will fail. It's true. Uh, I will need to change that. Oh, damn it. I forgot that. It crash because our project is not at the root and by default the portal assume that your project is in the root so we need to fix that so uh, let's if we go into the code in vnex v3 now in github we should have like a workflow yeah see so the vnex v3 no, come on. 
here, the VNEX V3 URL portal test. So that's um, the, 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 the function we just deploy. So ding, ding, ping. So let's go and edit that thing. And we'll change here the function path. See, it's assume it's in the root, but our code, because like the repo contain documentation and blah, 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 blah. So I kind of put the code in a subfolder. So we need, sorry, to change that. So we'll change the file and just put here instead of SRC, we'll just, uh, instead of dot, meaning the root, we'll do SRC, SRC, like that. Uh, and everything else I think is good. So start coming and uh, so by doing that, it should trigger automatically the the workflow. Cool. See it trigger it. So now. Well, wait, it should, it should work. Um, I'm looking forward to see though, Ignite. I think this, this next Ignite, what I will be doing is probably watching. I'll be like you, I'll be watching. And it's, it's cool. I think it will be a good ignite. So I wonder Well, let that one finish because I don't want to duplicate the work. So can we do anything while we're waiting? That's the question. Any session? What was the, uh, let's talk about Ignite since uh, Stefan, you brought it up. So, um, So if you don't know what it is, Microsoft Ignite is a conference. Microsoft, we like conferences, events. Let's put it that way. We like to share with events. Just register online. Person. Oh yeah, cool. I don't think I register, I should. No, so I'm really looking forward to uh, so October. Yeah. Can I register? Sign in. Uh, I think I, it won't work. because I'm not on my, uh, yeah. I will sign in, but I will be using my uh, my work account. And uh, I, I cannot do that because I'm not on my work laptop. Any session you're looking forward to, uh, to watch the day share the, uh,
the session? No, huh? Maybe when you're signing then? When you go like my ignite or something like that? Oh, we could follow them on... Uh, that's cool. On LinkedIn? I don't know. So many people. What? 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 No, no, no! I just, I don't. I just want to see. Uh, I just want to share my portal, my thing. If people want to join me, here. If you're interested, you can ping me on on LinkedIn. If it's your thing. Try to be active on a little bit on LinkedIn. Cool, so deployment have been done. See, so now we have everything has been done. So it founds the code because it was looking in the good repository, good folder, so that worked. I uh, compile everything and uh, deploy. So job is complete. So now if we go back into the portal and we go back into function, we should have one function showing up. Too soon? Okay, it doesn't find it. Does the deployment is done though? Yeah, okay, so deployment is done. So let's go then in app settings, in configuration, I mean. So in configuration, uh, let's change here that value for something else. So here instead of uh, .NET, we want .NET dash isolated. And we should have something else also. We should have something else. I wonder, should I put it there? I think I should. Um, but I cannot show you. Let's go in secret mode. Hmm. Let's go in talk mode. Uh, the other day, Clarkio on Twitch, I don't know if you know Clarkio, um, but he told me that it's really easy to crack that, uh, that thing, that secret mode that I have here. Apparently, like, it's super easy to crack and, and find a way. I don't think... Like I will be in trouble. I don't think there's enough information to to be uh, problematic. But at the same time, I'm not sure I want to have any uh, risk or take the habit. It's more the habit. So I need to find, well, change my secret and I'll probably do something else. Uh, okay, so I want to see this thing, the local setting. Exactly, that's what I want. And I will put a new local setting and I will point that value to our storage to have um, a database. Not a database, but code, like have some URLs. So I want to change that, uh, go back in Visual Studio Code, now on my connection string. And I want to put that here. 
So I will just go back here in full. So what I did is I changed that here. I had the URL data storage. That's what we need. So now I save. We'll restart your application. Okay, I'm fine with that. Because this is the app settings. Um, so cool. So now if we go back in overview, it should be kind of restarting. Cool. So now if I go in function, I should have one function. Yeah, it's there. Okay, so see if I zoom a little bit. So now we have URL redirect. So great. So now we have a function that works. So that's our thing. So now one thing we could do is to do this here, take that URL. Should be the same, right? Okay, and now I do API, API, and then I do a URL redirect. That's the name of our function and project. Uh, this is a short version or like what uh, vanity in our, uh, in our code that should bring us to the github repo and it works cool so now we have an azure function that works so that like like i was saying what we did here is we deploy the function using the portal as a regular .NET version and then once the deployment was done we switch it to .NET isolated and that works so like it's possible, but like not, uh, uh, it's not possible today in uh, what date are we? The 9th of September, 2022, or maybe I'm, I'm not <laughs> aware of it. It's possible. I don't know everything. <laughs> and you know that, right? Um, that uh, it's not possible yet to deploy it directly automatically. So the plan is to deploy it the other way we'll be doing. And, and after that, just like swap the is add the isolated at the end of the, the stack. So now that we have that, what we will be doing is go back here and I want to export the template. Come on, generating the template. Cool. So this is our template, so I will copy all of it. Paste it into Visual Studio Code in a page. Um, Let's um, so deploy it from portal here. I will paste that. So that's our thing that we deploy. So that's the schema. And now I want to deploy it the way we intend to deploy. It won't work. In fact, we will, it will, the deployment will work, but then like it will be in the kind of like, uh, uh, I don't know how do you call that, like the void. Like it will be in between, like it won't be functional once in Azure. And I'm not sure why. So I want to see the difference because there's something I don't see. So I think deploying it twice will be better. So what I want to go here is go back here in code. I want to make sure I am in the branch Phoenix V3. So Stefan, like like I what I did right now is what you could do. I think it was you, right, last week who tried to deploy it. So you could totally do that. You create an Azure function from the portal, and then you will need to uh, change the source, the path, like I did. 
and then deploy it change to users related chat thing make sure you have all the the settings there so the url storage to point out to your uh, blob storage where you have all your short urls then the function will works um but i want to fix so the like the one click button works so right now i want to go to deployment and we have a page called azure deployment no don't want to go here i want to go in the docs and Azure function deployment and I want to use this button here so this button right now if I take the URL of that I will just show you copy the link bring back my Visual Studio so right now like that URL is opening an Azure a specific page in the uh, URL and the, the Azure portal and it's passing my GitHub repository. And the thing I wanna make sure is, see here like F Boucher, is it big enough? Let's make it bigger. F Boucher, a ZRL shortener. And that's the thing I wanna make sure I'm using right now is vnext v3, because I want, I want that specific thing. And then I'm going into the deployment Azure deploy JSON page. Okay, so that's what we want people to use at the end. So look like I'm pointing exactly what I want. So here I will just control click to keep that page here. So we'll open in another tab, switch here, just let log in into my account. So here we are in a custom deployment and it's using our ARM template that we create to populate a deployment. So like I already uh, picked my subscription, so that's my personal one. I wanna create a new resource group again, so it will be a C5M, but this time it will be um, GitHub. deploy test uh, URL okay so I won't deploy into Japan I want to deploy in East US it's closer to me the base name let's change that to c5m github uh, let's make it shorter git hub URL yeah, I think it's good, right? Uh, the default redirect Azure. Let's put Frankie's notes. That's my blog, just for you know, make sure it works the way I want. The GitHub URL. That's the uh, Copper Birdie. He's in the house. Hello, sir. How are you? Nice to see you. Uh, so yeah, so this is our repo but i want to make sure i'm not using main and it's okay like it, it like even if i picked earlier the the repo i was i want to make sure i was using the good template but it's here like this is for setting up the resource for the code and it's targeting main because that's the default value i provided my template so like it's totally normal that it's kind of like forgot already that i'm in uh, i'm in v3 right so here I don't want to make sure I don't do any typos. I will copy paste it. Cool. So here that's just a little thing that I like to do. Let's put 1010 owner name. Let's put Frank. Cool. So now let's review and create. You will need to agree to. Yeah, that's a new thing, right? Why? Yeah, yeah, but I agree. Of course I agree. You will need to agree to the term and services below. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't know why it's in red. Maybe so we pay attention. How was your week, Mr. Birdie? Mr. Birdie. <laughs> 
<laughs> like it was your like it was your family name. How are you? How was your week, Mr. Copper Birdie? My uh Were you shocked by yesterday big news? I was I was shocked. I know enough of uh UK people to uh to feel that there's a that will be a, a big impact. Yeah. First thought I I I got when uh, I heard that was thinking about Amy. She's my manager, and uh, she was like, "Oh, I think it like even here like the 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 Queen is our face is on our money. Uh, like even if I let's say I don't want to pronounce myself like do I agree or not with monarchy and stuff like that. That's not the purpose of it, but her." Elizabeth, like she was, she was someone like it was really icon iconic person, I, I, personality. I think she was so professional, so majestic. I don't know, I don't know how to say that, but yeah, big news. But ninety six years old. Yep, indeed. Yesterday at the radio, they were telling how many president she saw and like how many blah, blah, blah. And like everything she passed through, it was impressive. A 70, 70 years, 70 something years of, uh, of job. <laughs> That's not nothing. So here we're deploying way more resources because uh, we're deploying the, the full solution for us. So in the previous example, um, I deployed the oops, sorry, I deployed the Azure function, but then the storage where we have all our links, uh, I point something that already exists because I'm not too many concerned about like having the storage deploy. Uh, the problem is really with the Azure function. And here I'm deploying all the resource because it's based on our template. So that's why there's a little bit more resources. It will take like a, a little bit longer, but not much. And as soon as we have that, uh, we'll be able to see. And I'll see it's creating the web. So it's really right now, the Azure function is created and like the web, this is where it defines the source repository. So it's probably now compiling and doing all the thing with the code in GitHub. I wonder if I go in GitHub action, do I see any action right now? No, I don't. Huh? Do you have any plans for the weekend? I need to, um, I, I, I did some starter like uh, salads and uh, is it, uh, oh, it's called, I forgot, like some kind of, it's not herbs, it's kind of salads, but it's not salads, I forgot what it is. And uh, I want to put that in my garden, because even if days are getting colder and everything, there's uh, still a few crops that you could uh, deploy, uh, deploy, that you could, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could deploy your seeds into the garden, like the guy is too much techie. <laughs> I love that. Oh my god. Deploy your seeds into the garden. Not much. Make some chocolate chip cookie. Mm -mm. Are you seeing your grandson? Was you, right? Yeah, it was you with like your grandson. I think you put. I, last thing I saw was what he was wearing your glasses.
Yeah, some veg and fruits like to eat in the winter. Yep. Well, here I cannot grow anything in the winter. It's way too cold. Like if I had like a, a cold frame or like a greenhouse and I eat the greenhouse, I could continue, but I won't do that. Like it's, it will, it will be way too expensive. Okay, so now we have all those resources. Uh, so that's cool. And now if we go here into the Azure function, it should be broken. So if I go to function, it will say that there's no function. And if we go into deployment center, uh, not deployment center, configuration, Oh, I will go show you something in Deployment Center also. Um, so see, like, URL storage, that's the one I had before. But now uh, what I want to look at is the function worker mode. So if I go and edit... So function version is four, that's good. And it's .NET, so like I, I, I'm trying to do exactly what I wanna do, but right now, even if I do that, it doesn't work. And if I change it here for ESO, late, PID, and I miss the, this is a dash. Oh no, what I did? .NET, okay, dash, I was like, what? Okay, so .NET, isolated, that's cool. Uh, so now if I do okay, and now I do save, it will say, hey, are you sure? Because it will restart, cool, yeah, do it. We'll restart that. Oh, you only see him, okay, now I understand your sentence, like you only see your son if your son wants some money. Oh, that's sad though. Cool, so now I put the .NET. So if he, I come here, okay, so now it says .NET is deleted. That's cool, maybe it will work. Uh, so let's go in the overview. Okay, and if I go to function, nah. it usually, so that's the thing, it usually doesn't work. And I'm not sure why. So there's clearly something that is missing. So let's give it like one more chance. I will restart manually this app. So yes, restart the app. We'll wait a little bit while it gets a client kind of clear refresh. And after that, we'll be exporting the ARM template and um, we'll be able to start. Oh, I should, damn, I should, I, should, I forgot to change the, the time. To do. Uh, done. One. And to do. Start. Oh, I should do just done. Done. Two. And now let's do start. Okay, so now it's full, restarted. So if we go back into function, we still have that error. And if I try to run it, go back here, take that URL, paste this, then API, then URL, uh, redirect, redirect and project it's not working right now so we'll go and export the template nope, not in this one here we'll export the template uh, where is it export the template 
and uh, I will need to take a bio break. I'm sorry, I usually never do that. <laughs> I really need to. I will start dancing soon. So uh, I will be back just in a few. I just want to make sure. Uh, where is it? Uh, I will be right back. Where is it? Where is it? This one? Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Hang in there, just trying to fix some Django Mangrish issue. Oh, hey, finite. Hello. Thank you, thank you. 
very happy to see to see you uh, on board, Mr. Finite. Really enjoy your stream. What I I watch, I think uh, two three times already. Like that. I like it, what everything you do with like the effect. I, w I really like that. Django migration issue. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was uh, like I was talking with Fragbird two weeks ago, and uh, I was saying because right now I have the I, I'm I'm a big fan of the the game Drops here. Where is my mouse? My mouse is here. Uh, so you could you, you know you could drop. That's uh, done by Pixel Flush fluff I uh, really like that and uh, I added the, the, the cloud and like I had a few functions so you could make it rain like this so the cloud turn darker and it should start raining is it <laughs> I don't see it is it raining maybe it's not working oh maybe maybe I, I don't have it there Anyway, but the thing is, I'm not good in JavaScript, so I need to change that and do everything back in .NET so I can have a little a bit, a bit of more control. And uh, I was thinking about, ah, oh, we should have a game that we could play that is less luck-based, but fun. And uh, that's when um, Fragbird suggests, uh, hey, look at the... Uh, Finite singularity is like having like a non uh, like a uh, chalk bomb bomb chalk I forgot like a, how it's called like where we throw stuff on the board and I was like that's cool I like that but uh, you did it so now I need to find something else <laughs> yeah that's super cool so I should do like a, let me try to do that. Did it work? Didn't work. Like this. How come my chatbot doesn't... Why it's not working? My chatbot is, is... Like I changed so many things in my setup that uh, there's a lot of technical shoe like if I go even like here I don't know why my new camera like new, I swap buddy cameras and apparently now there's a border I don't know <laughs> like it's a setting in the camera so I need to fix that so I I didn't change all my my windows I need to fix that anyway what I want to try to to do was a shout out to a singer a sing, finite sing, singularity oh didn't this I don't know why the chat but is not picking up here we have man where are you here we have CB but he's not showing up did CB crash again look like like CB crash again that's the problem there it is that's why it doesn't catch Hmm. Uh, what can I do? I could try. Let me try to do this here. If I do this and this. Now, if I try again. Okay, the chatbot is so it looks like there is something wrong going on with my. I changed my WSL uh, setup, like I upgrade my WSL, and then I decide, you know what, let's bring the new version and use that new version. And I think I kind of screwed up something, and Docker is now uh, 
not working perfectly. You know what I mean. It's well, no. When you throw stuff, like, isn't there like a where you throw, like, a, like, like there's your bouncing thing, and then when you decide to throw a thing, so like it's kind of like you decide where you you throw the the thing, right? Finite. Anyway, so let's move here. I have about uh, 10 minutes. Um, are you streaming later, Finite? Like, we should have a look as who's streaming. Uh, I think I will uh, keep the... I don't want to start comparing. I'm not today. Yeah, it's on the middle of the week, right? Oh, yeah, it's true. Like, there's always the delay. Yeah, for me it's all it's Friday stream Friday. Um, let's go here. If I go, who's who's streaming? Maybe we could raid. How many people are we? Are we like eight hey, viewers? We could we could raid someone. There's a Microsoft developer. I don't know what they are talking about. It's oh, it's a learn live. We could uh, though. Learn live introduction regression model using R. I'm not sure they will appreciate a rush, and it's not very interactive. The learn live, uh, like it's focus on learning. Uh, I'll likely stream someone, some funny make. Oh, cool, cool. Saturday stream of Saturday. Oh, Jackie code. Lana is there. But she's always there. She's a beast. She's always streaming. What's Jackie code? I don't remember Jackie. So, it was good though today. Um, what we did. Oh yeah, so... Oh yeah, so chatbot is definitely crashed. Because I don't even see the to-do right now. Yeah, I don't even see the to-do right now. In the top right corner, I, I, I point the wrong direction. In the top right corner, usually there's a to-do and it crashed. So maybe when I did some command Oh well, we'll need to fix that. So Jackie, oh a great RPG. That seems really cool. What do you think? I think it's really cool. Let's Raider. Uh, and next week we'll be uh, continuing our investigation here. Uh, let me just put that as we are. Yeah, so next week we will continue to investigate the problem we have with the deployment. Uh, now that we have our two version, we'll be able to compare them and see what's missing in our template. And after that, we'll be able to de deploy. So it was nice having you today in, the, in my cloud, behind my cloud. So I wish you all a very nice long weekend. Not long, just like a weekend, but a lot of fun. Uh, thank you a lot to uh, watching me and be part of my stream. And I will see you there. Have fun. Bye.